How does that happen is that you can choose to create Hey my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the best way for you to syndicate a video to all social platforms. Now, you might know this all different platforms have different video lengths and so how can you take one video and syndicate everywhere it's not by sharing the link to YouTube and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So when you syndicate a video, what we're talking about is you're talking about having the same content on all different platforms. And one of the ways to do it obviously is to create different content for every platform. That'd be the best way. But that usually doesn't you usually most people don't have time to do that. And it's totally insane to try to be everywhere, right? So if you can be everywhere and create just one video this is what we're going to be talking about so we'll get into that before I want to remind you if you're listening to this as an audio you want to go check out the video you're going to find the video and the blog post at cis396.jsgagnon.com and you're going to be like I said you're going to be able to see the video and the blog post there so we're going to go and share our screen right now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so when you go and you do a google search for how long should videos be you're going to see that you know Facebook they talk about 240 minutes Instagram they talk about 10 minutes on uh Twitter it's 140 seconds so that's just two minutes right a little a little bit over two minutes LinkedIn 10 minutes and then there's Pinterest and there's YouTube lands and there's all these different things right so how do you know how long your video should be so for me every single week I create a 30 or so minute video 25 to 40 minute video right depending on depending on what I'm trying to show depending on how long it takes but that's the video that's the video I record I just record one video so you can do that too you can record just one video so we're going to show you what I'm talking about here I got this uh, notes here let me just load it up it's this one over here so you know what's the best way right to create a syndication to create a video for syndication so what do you do you take the video and you edit it and then you share it on other platforms uh, or you cut it or you like what do you do right for me what I do if, if you haven't seen before is I have videos on my Facebook I have videos on my Twitter I should probably load that up I should probably show you right if I go to Twitter right here and I go to my account which right now is uh not gonna be the right account I'm just gonna switch it over to the other one how do I do that right here yeah so my main account if I go to my main account and I look at my profile and then I go see my tweets right my tweets oh tweets just tweets so if I go to see my tweets you're going to see I have videos on here I don't know if we're even going to see them but this is an example here course income secrets 137 has a uh, uh that's a gif uh that's not oh uh, yeah there's too much stuff here I'm, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> to show you I mean if I go to Instagram might be a better place to show you Instagram but I wanted to show you that they were just two minutes on on um on there so let's just go to here again on switch to this one. Oh, it's gonna send me a code oh, let's hold on let's enter the code I'm gonna get the code on my authenticator app all right Instagram is right over where is it I've got a whole bunch of them. okay so here it is there we go okay so now we have that okay so now uh on my Instagram you can see that I have if I go to my profile I don't want my story I just want my profile so I just go to my profile profile sorry I'm I don't I don't go to Instagram that often on my <laughs> on my desktop but if you look at this here's an example here's another one if I go to and I look at this video here you're going to see that it starts off with a little bit of something then it shows you this like logo kind of like explosion right like that and then it goes into the video 
and it's only four minutes 50 so I just didn't I just say that I do you know that I do 30 minute videos well this is what happens at the in the middle of this video or near the end here I go and I I fade out and then it goes to this final message that says you can this was part of an episode and blah 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 right so I, if you're listening to this and we're past the five minute mark now so you won't even you won't even me talking right now what I'm saying right now you won't actually see in the video if you're watching the shorter video but if you're watching the full video you're gonna obviously hear me explain this right and that's what I do now I'm, I'm doing nft stuff whatever but the, so but the thing is that if you want to create a video every single week maybe once a month I actually did this every single day for a long time where I would create a video and I would actually um cut it out I would cut a two minute version for YouTube uh, for Twitter I would cut a five minute version for Facebook I mean this is basically what I would do right I would actually create a video for this let's just uh, get this cleaned up over here because I actually so you know what do you need right to do what do you need to do for a to do a good syndication video right so what you need is right over here it's coming up so what do you actually record so what do I actually record like I said just a 30 minute video that's all I do but then what do I do with it right then what I do with it is I take these pieces that you'll need as well you're going to need you know these the 30 minute video for YouTube you're, you're going to need these and you're also going to need an outro video I don't think there should be a an outro video that directs people to the continuation of the longer video so I can kind of explain how how that works and you need a highlight to put at the beginning and in the end you're going to end up with these videos like this right they're going to be like this they're going to have a highlight at the beginning they're going to have your logo burst in right after then they're going to have your trimmed video two minutes five minutes and you can make other trimmed videos if you want a nine minute one or whatever and then they're going to have your outro at the end right <clears throat> and so the way that that works is you can you can use a video editor and do it all yourself you know like uh what what are the I don't remember what the tools I I've got uh what's it called out uh I forget the name um it doesn't even tell me here open shot <laughs> so I've got open shot open shot right which is one of the ones that I use and there's other ones there was Windows video editor that used to be in Windows XP there was um and there's I think is it Camtasia it's called I think lots of people use that so you can use that and you can do that yourself but that takes so much time the other option is you can actually create separate videos separate length videos like right now I'm at you know seven minutes so I could be like okay I'm gonna stop right now and this will be the video for Facebook right and then I record again the whole thing a 30 minute video for YouTube right you could do that and the the advantage of that is that in the YouTube video you can actually have conversations with your YouTube audience talk about YouTube things so that they know that it's all about YouTube and if you're on Facebook you talk about Facebook stuff and if it's a video for LinkedIn you talk about LinkedIn stuff right so you can do that but again that's a lot of work you got to record them separately you got to make sure you're you're you kind of say the same stuff otherwise it'll be kind of confusing and all that right but if you have one video you do one video that's what I do I do one video right just one one video and then I use an a syndication engine to do all this stuff for me so if I go for example here you can see that I have these different videos right if I look at this video this uh let's just see how does this work so there's the where's the prefix okay so that I have a highlight here in my video and because he's a marketer because he understands marketing. well I guess you can't hear that very well because it's through the mic but let me just actually uh let me actually go to the other one because this is nft related so let's just go to the video that was not nft the top five mistakes the previous one I did so if I look at this if I just look at this uh, pre the highlight video I have a highlight inside the in that's part of this video if, if you're... so let me just turn the sound on and turn my mic off To, if you're looking to know what you can do to build a business on yeah so that basically is a video a little piece of a video just you know a, a five second video right uh that's part of the of this and then what else do I have I have a highlight video that so basically what I do this this engine lets me choose 
where inside the video so first if I go here you can kind of see I sh I upload the video <coughs> here's the full video the full 30 minute video right here right 32 minutes right in this case and also have the YouTube because it goes and gets the subtitles from there then I choose where to extract pieces from my video right so I have the thumbnail they can be different places in the video but in this case I chose the same place for all of them kind of shows you where that is at 258 and over here I also choose the part for highlight start position plus length so I'm making it five seconds you can make it you know longer if you want 12 seconds or whatever um, but you choose where in the video it goes and gets it then what happens is you basically have uh, you define how this whole thing works and the idea with it is that every single week every even every day if you want where you create a new video every single day all you got to do is you got to upload the video and choose where it gets the highlight from and that's it other than the text that's it for your creation then you just click a button and it does it all for you right so then what happens is if I look at the way the series is set up I've got my logo I got a different ones that I use but the one I ended up using was the supernova intro <laughs> now you can create these so this is a this is the supernova intro which you kind of saw already if I do a play you'll see that it's right so that's <clears throat> that's my supernova uh, intro that I have I I got that off of videos so you can do whichever way you want don't make it too long because it's something that you want to be part of your two minute video right you want to, your two minute trim to have it as well right you want it to start with your highlight then your logo burst and then your trimmed video right so your trimmed video if you want the full video to be like less than 140 seconds right then you probably should trim it at about two minutes and that includes your first you know five ten seconds of highlight and your five ten seconds of your logo so the whole thing has to be that right and even your outro right your end if your end is like you know 30 seconds then that leaves you only like 60 seconds for the actual content right so you got to keep that in mind when you're doing it so you have your logo burst I guess you want to call it then we have our also what else do we have we have a these are all generated so let's just say input 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 uh, I'm just trying to see trim outro so this is the outro which is the part of the video that goes at the end which is just me reading this I just have this I made that on a, a video a, on a, a an image right a 1920 by 1080 image I basically just created that image and then I put this text on it and then I just I'm just reading that so this video if I, I'll show you what I mean this was part of an episode from course income secrets watch or listen to the rest of this episode by clicking the link in the description or comments <laughs> so you see that's uh, it's just me reading that right and you can do the same thing you can have your own your own outro but basically that gets added to the end of all the videos and how does that happen is that you can choose to create outputs so in this uh, syndication engine you got inputs and you've got outputs right so do you you upload your inputs so your inputs are what is used to generate the rest now we can uh, this is it is a little bit complicated to understand the process but basically if you think about it you've got inputs and you've got outputs right so the inputs is your assets that you want to use to generate your outputs right so for example you might have the 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 full length video as input and the output as the trimmed five minute video right you could do that you could have the input as the trimmed five minute video and then generate well actually that's uh, that's a, that'll confuse you sorry I know that there's two there's there's so there's source inputs and then there's final outputs and then there's also what you can have happen in the middle like for example you can have so for me the way I do it is I have and this is all fully configurable right so you decide all of this how this all works but basically what I have is I have a highlight right here which is extract video from other sources whenever you decide to create new output right I can click on this video here 
and then I can choose what I want this output to be well it'll be either burn subtitles on video it'll be either create an IGTV video it'll be either add an image on video extract video from other video concatenate so you know put two videos together <coughs> trim and fade video and then trim and fade video plus add in outro so depending on which action you choose you're going to have to define the inputs to use right so for example if I say I want to concatenate two videos together well I need to have one video as a source and then the other video as the other source and then those two will be added one to the other you can even put the same if you want right two two of the same which wouldn't make much sense um the other thing is you choose a name for it the name has to be unique in your series and that's and that basically it right so then you end up with a, a new output or a new and if it's an input and let's say I want to do an upload an input I want to upload a video it just lets me give it a name so I could say for example my outro I could call it my my, my logo burst I could call it whatever I want <clears throat> and then it becomes available as something to use in the output like for example that's why when I look at say for example the full plus intro let's look at full plus intro IGTV5 okay so I have okay let's show you what I mean so if I go to the assets right here which is the list of all the assets that were generated this is everything that gets generated so the process is I go here I create I give it a title uh test I won't be able to delete this so I'm yeah I probably shouldn't do that let's do it in the in a different series a test series so test right over here so I'm going to do this so when I do that I create a new episode so the idea is that the series is your like it's like your tv show your 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 show will have different episodes every single day right or every single week you'll have a new episode but it'll be the same show so you still have the same logo you have the same title you have the same intro you have the same outro everything is your series has all the same you know assets to to make it part of that series right but each episode has a different video so the first thing you do is you create a new episode you can give it a number here or it'll just pick the next number and then you give it a title right whatever title you want after that you give it a url you want this url is where is the episode actually where does it live online so if you have a youtube video it could be your youtube url if you have a blog post you can use your blog post me I have a blog post every time I create an episode I also create a blog post for it so this is the URL to my blog post right so I will have like you know Jean-Serge uh, Gagnon.com slash uh, CIS uh, one you know 144 dash how to x right whatever whatever the URL is for my blog post for that particular episode right so then you click on next and then you give it a video URL from YouTube or you upload a video and you choose a file right so let's just upload a short video here let's say this one this is a short video this is a 10 minute video yeah that's good so it won't take too long so you upload the video to there it's actually a good a good length 10 10 minutes is a good length because it'll allow me to show you the trimming how the trimming works right so you basically so once you have your video uploaded then what you can do is you you just have it generate the assets <laughs> so when you define the series in the series you define your inputs you define your outputs you define the sequence of how things happen like for example when I create my IGTV video right my IGTV video is a vertical vertical video for IGTV with my main video in the middle and I have like you know a, the title at the top and then I have the subtitles at the bottom so all that stuff comes from other things happening like for example it's a five minute video so I I have to take the trim five minute video and put it there right and also <clears throat> the way that I get the um subtitles is I get them from YouTube so that means I have to generate my five minute video and or I, well I do the whole video but I have to generate the video with the prefix or the highlight and then the uh, logo burst and then the rest of the video so that I have the full video plus those pieces right then I upload that to YouTube and then I have to actually wait a day or two before the, the YouTube generates the subtitles for me there's tools that will let you do that but that's kind of how I do it then I have the subtitles and then the subtitles get installed and they get burned on the video um there's a 
there's also an, an action that lets me shorten the subtitles right so if I go look at this now I've got my video it's there and if I go to video extract <coughs> right now I only have a thumbnail a, a, a gif thumbnail and a video thumbnail right so where do I want those from now what I want to do is I want to show you if I want to say I want to get a highlight as well so I'm going to go in here I'm going to edit my series I'm going to add a new highlight so what I want uh actually I'm going to need to upload my let's say I upload I need to add my short the logo burst so I'm going to upload my logo burst right here it's going to be called logo burst and um let's just call it logo burst the name there that doesn't matter I'm going to go find that same video I used in the other stuff which is going to be in here uh, let's see is it in here I forget where I don't even remember where I put it let's do the date here I don't even remember where that video came from <laughs> hmm. it's not these um I'm in oh oh it's in course income secrets that's why <laughs> I'm not I'm in my just my main folder I gotta go to course income secrets here there it is it's in here so if I go down here oops go down to the bottom okay so let's look at this supernova that's the one I want so that's the supernova one it kind of looks like you saw oops and I'm going to save it so now it's going to upload that short five second uh, logo you obviously like I said it should be your logo whatever yours looks like now that's their logo versus there now right so now what I want is I want to also have a highlight so I'm going to create a new output a new video output right and I'm going to call this highlight highlight and this is a video video highlight okay whatever the label is just for me so the action is going to be extract video from other video right so there's different actions here so extract video from other video then I'm going to say where does it get it from where's the source so it's going to be the syndication source video that's where I want it to come out of right and the output's going to be mp4 we don't need a max length I'm just going to say save this like this and oh actually we do need a max length I want to make it I uh, know we don't because uh, you choose it uh, sorry 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 okay so now I because the the length of your highlight might be different depending on this the episode right on one, one day you might want a five second one another day you might want a seven second one etc right so now we have the highlight we have the logo burst and now I want to have a let's I want to have another output which is going to be the highlight the burst and then the full video right so now I want another output video output so that has to be done in two steps because I can only specify two videos when I do a, 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 a concatenation maybe someday we'll have the uh, but we'll do highlight high high so hl um and then um burst burst hl burst okay so let's say highlight burst okay highlight plus burst so this will be adding those two videos together the highlight that you that we got out of the other one right and the burst so we're going to put those together right so now what we do is we do the highlight highlight plus burst <laughs> look at that I, I'm having a typing problem okay so that means I want to do concatenate two videos together right so this the first video is not the syndication source it'll be the highlight I want the highlight first the second one is going to be the logo burst I want that now that's what I want also output mp4 is good now I save that so now I have a new highlight plus burst so finally I want the full video that has the original full video plus the highlight plus burst at the beginning right so now I do another video output I'm going to call this full plus just like that doesn't matter so full video plus whoops video plus prefix okay so that is again it's going to be concatenate two videos together and what we're going to want to do is the first one is going to be the logo burst or is it the highlight burst highlight burst so I want these two right 
and then the second one is going to be the original syndication source video the full video that was original Let's save that and then we have that now the other thing that we're going to want to look at is because the default uh, syndication happens this way the trim and the trim five I want to trim two but I don't want it to be based on the source video I want it to be based on the final you know, put together video right so I got to go open this and I instead of saying asset source I want to change it to highlight the full plus right so then that's it so basically I'm telling it use this full the this full plus video instead of the original source so the same thing with the trim to him this one here was burned sometimes on video so that's actually not what we want there is no I don't want this it's not a burn subtitles this is actually I don't know maybe it's a test I did before but I want to trim plus add outro there we go okay so now this one is going to be this one as well that's five minute I want to do the same thing it's going to be trim plus add outro it's going to be again it's going to be this last uh, syndication the plus and then as you can see there's a maximum length right here so this is the five minute one so five minutes is 300 seconds right so I always I kind of give it a few less so 290 give it 10 seconds less just to be safe you probably could go to 295 or even 299 or even, maybe even 300 might be good enough but you might end up hitting that some sort of a weird limit on the you know the social media so I just use it 10 seconds less so this one here did I do the same so 110 right two minutes is 120 so I did 110 now <laughs> because this is the only one that I use for YouTube I could I'm not YouTube I mean uh, Twitter Twitter is 140 so maybe I just do 130 right I'm going to do that like that okay so now we have those videos done so we have the trim and then the highlight so now this is all defined so now when I go back here to this page now all of a sudden look at that we have an extra field right here which shows me by default zero so if I just you know move this around I want to go see what where can I where can I get a good highlight here I don't I don't know which which would be good so just go to I you could use a video player locally to kind of see this a little bit better because on the computer it's a little slow because it has to refresh everything but uh we could do uh maybe we can go to the end here maybe someplace out here so it won't really matter what I do but whatever I do see right here I've got some uh, congratulations what's just before that so let's just let it play a little bit so we're going to pause it because we want something that moves right we want something that kind of like shows them oh what's this what am I looking at right maybe we just go back here and see what that looks like and we're just going to find something that works and like I said you can actually look at the video on your computer if I go back to my computer here and I go to this folder where I have those oops actually go back here if I go to my nfts which is where that folder was uh is it here I think it would have been this one so if I look at this video which is the same thing as what we're looking at there online the difference is that this is playing locally so it'll be a bit it'll be a bit better and I can just go over here and find something it's uh I have uh it looked like there was something nice there we go let's use this because there's a lot of movement here right let's use that so as you can see right here this is 37.49 so if I go here to 37.49 I can actually type it here 37.49 it's going to go there oh it didn't take 37.49 oh what oh it's the wrong video it's not the right video ah that's why okay so that's not the right video <laughs> the one we did is the 10 minute one uh, which is this one here so let's use this I see all the NFTs I created now if I reload this I'm sure the number 10 is going to show up on it reload the wallet 
And then I'll reload the wallet. Let's use that, right? Let's use this. Like this. That's not that's not enough. I had a lot more stuff on there. Why did this <clears throat> so I can look at so that'd be 936. Let's use 936. Go back here to 936. So 936. Right? So now it's going to show me 936 and maybe I, there you go so 936 anyways that's that's fine you you find the spot that you want and then you just click on next and there's a text entry here here is the description of this episode right so it, like in my case it's a blog post so I paste the blog post content here then I click on finish and then I can click on generate assets so what that does is it'll actually go through and every single thing that you've got defined in here that's all here there's including text which is default stuff that comes in you don't need them you could actually delete these text things if you don't want you know uh Twitter text you don't want SoundCloud you don't want Pinterest you don't want LinkedIn you can you can actually get rid of those and it'll update your syndication um uh, you know rules or whatever you want to call them right so right now as you can see it's waiting for some of these because this one is processing so right now the highlight that we chose is getting extracted out of the video right so it's just if I refresh this it might be done by now no I guess it's gotta it's gotta go to the to where that spot is and gotta go to extract it but the beauty of all this is that you don't have to do all the work you just have to choose where things are and then it'll do the rest so now you can see that the highlights done and now it's doing the highlight burst which is basically the highlight plus the burst the burst right so if I show you the highlight now the highlight looks like this right oh I made it 10 seconds I probably should have made it just five seconds so how do you fix that right so I go back here I can actually abort this Oh, actually, it's already done so if I go back to the video extract tab I can actually come back here and I want to change that to five I just want five five seconds by the way these ones don't need that so we can just click there and fix that and then I go back to the generated asset so now that I change it to five seconds it'll actually be five seconds uh, but only if I regenerate it so I just click on this regenerate right here and it'll actually go and get just five seconds instead of the 10 because we had 10 seconds right when we looked at it uh so we're gonna have to abort this one because there's no point in doing it because it's doing the wrong video right right now so it goes to fail because I aborted it but let's just wait for this one to finish and to kind of show you how the rest works so now well actually it'll take too long for us to show you the whole thing but basically what happens is it processes the highlight one then because this one here is actually going to wait for the highlight to be ready because it can't create its ver its you know two piece video until the highlights done right so then once that one's done this one starts the full plus and then the um, then the trim the trim two and five because they're based on the full plus they they wait right right here it says waiting right so if I mouse over this waiting you can see that it says waiting input row from source plus not done yet right so it's waiting for this one right for the full plus to be done so that one won't be done so I have to regenerate this one so now if I go here this is the new five second one right so that's all it is it's just a little blurb at the beginning and that's the highlight out of your big video right just a the little bit of highlight now me this is going to be a 33 minute video so I'm going to obviously show you it's going to be different when you watch this but if I click on this now regenerate this one because now it's done now if I look at this one then this will be the four the five second plus the little logo right obviously this is nft stuff so the logo doesn't really fit but that's how it is right so then you have the logo so then what's going to happen is those two pieces are going to be added to the big video in the beginning of it and you're going to end up with a big video with those two things at the minute beginning right automatically you don't have to worry about it right and then uh, finally the trim two minute and five minute will be based on that full video so it'll include the the highlight 
the logo burst and the two minutes or you know one minute 50 seconds or whatever <coughs> plus the outro and whatever so that's it's going to be based on the maximum length so that's huh, so that's how you create the best kind of um so where is that where is that that's how you create the best video for syndication to all social platforms because you create separate videos for the different platforms after you've got them you can upload them and that's that's how we do it all right hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions always you can reach out and until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.